Hello everyone. I hope you can hear me okay. So if um, you can't, so just let me know and I will put my headphones in. I have my air conditioner on. Um, so I am Janine Troutman, uh, the founder of Minding Your Soul. And the reason why I created this group is because over the past 13 years I have healed all of my MS symptoms. And I was in a wheelchair. I was paralyzed in my arms and my legs lying in bed and I decided to well, I first made a promise to God and I said, if you help me get better, I will spend the rest of my life teaching people how to do it. So that's where Minding Your Soul came from. I have spent the past 13 years getting healthy and what I did was I took all of that information and I combined it into this group and this is where I give you all of the information that you need to heal yourself. So today's topic is my favorite one. I think I say that a lot. The four biggest lies they told me about MS. Well hello Dawn, thanks for joining me. How do I sound? Let me know because it's really hot. I have my air conditioner on so I brought my headphones so if at any time you're like stick your headphones in because you can't hear me just let me know. Um, so today I love talking about the four biggest lies that they told me about MS because they really set me back and I know that these are things that they're telling everybody. All the neurologists are telling people and so that I want to set the record straight and the reason why I know that this information is true is, can you hear me clearly? Thank you so much. The reason why I know this information is true is because I used, I was my own guinea pig for years and everything that worked, that's what I'm telling you. So, before we get started, Dawn, we're just going to let a couple more people join in, but I don't want to stop the information for the people who are watching the replay. Um, so, I just want to remind you that today is the last day to sign up for the monthly clearing group. The, and Dawn, you just signed up for the program, so don't worry. You get four sessions with the program, so this is not for you. But for anyone who is not in the program, um, it's $52 a month, it's a monthly clearing, it's strictly for the members of Minding Your Soul, people who have MS, and what we do is we come together on Zoom once a month with Katherine Rose, she's a vibrational healer, and you can read more about this because every time I try to explain it, I don't do it justice. You can read more about this on MindingYourSoul.com uh, under resources, it's the only thing there. And you can sign up there too. Like I said, $52, you can either subscribe monthly or you can do it once and just see what it's like. So what it is is, do you ever feel like something was holding you back, like you're stuck in your old patterns or beliefs, right? And you, and you, some you know, some are conscious, some are subconscious. But what you want to do is clear those old programs out that are keeping you stuck so that you can heal, so that the new energy can come in. So that's what the Minding Your Soul monthly clearing group does. It's about 45 minutes to an hour on Zoom on the last Sunday of every month, but I'm reminding you for this month because we're doing it the third Sunday because Catherine had a death in the family. So we just had to move it up a week, it's July 18th. Okay, so getting started. The first big lie that I was told was, your immune system is attacking yourself. Yeah, and there's nothing you can do about it. Your immune system just is attacking itself. You know, something went wrong, so it's now going against you and making you sick. And that is the biggest, fattest lie ever. Because your immune system can't attack itself. Whoever you believe created our bodies did not put like a little thing in there where if you did something wrong, whoop, we're gonna attack you and, and make you sick and make it so that you can't heal. No, your body is attacking a virus that is not yet detectable by the medical science. This is all medical medium information. The reason why I believe it is because it worked. It worked for me, it worked for all the people that I've helped heal themselves, and it worked for the millions of other people that are online. So it's not attacking itself, it's attacking the Epstein-Barr virus, okay? Um, there's a whole nother video on the Epstein-Barr virus, but basically what happens is in this four different stages. In the first stage, it's in your blood, and that's when it can be detected, right? That's either when you get mononucleosis or they diagnose you with Epstein-Barr, but stage two, you might not even have any symptoms, by the way. You might have mono and be in the hospital, or you might not have any symptoms at all. When I was 13, I was in the hospital twice, I think at 13 and 14, um, with mono. Well, first time with mono. The second time, they said my white uh, immune cells, were, blood cells, were so high, but they couldn't find an infection. That's the Epstein-Barr virus, because once it leaves your blood, it finds 
an organ to hide in. Once it hides in that organ, right, once it's out of your bloodstream, it's undetectable until you get like a biopsy of your organs, which they don't do. They just say, no, we only see a past infection because they see the antibodies. Well, if you have the antibodies for Epstein-Barr, you have Epstein-Barr because it never really does go away. If you're just joining on, let me know who you are, where you're from, and, um, how the weather is really because here it's disgusting it's like 95 degrees so i have my air conditioner on but dawn says you can hear me clearly i just went over the first one your immune system is attacking yourself big ass lie uh your immune system is attacking the epstein Barr virus the number two biggest lie that they told me was ms is genetic it is not genetic it is not in your genes you don't have something in your little dna um what's that thing called the oh, i can't think of it the thing the helo the helo Oh, I forget the name. Um, you don't have anything in your DNA saying that you're going to get MS. What it is, it's a virus. And it gets passed to you. So some people say it's hereditary, but hereditary still has to do with your genes. And it's not in your genes. It gets passed down to you from your mother. It passes through the birth canal. So that's why it gets passed from family member to family member. And because there are over 60 different strains of Epstein-Barr, that will determine what your symptoms are. So Epstein-Barr, I mean, MS is not genetic. MS is a virus called the Epstein-Barr virus, okay? Uh, number three, number three biggest lie is, and this one comes straight from Dr. Ravel in West Long Branch, New Jersey, my neurologist. He said, nothing you eat, Janine. I said, first of all, let me set this up for you. He goes, Janine, um, how have you been feeling lately? I'm like, awful. I've been feeling awful lately. This is awful. I can't live like this. Between the brain fog, I can't, I can't hold a thought. Sometimes I could barely make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for my kids. Um, I'm lucky that I'm out of bed today. Sometimes I'm in bed and I can't get out for days. And then there are other times where I was completely paralyzed in my arms and my legs and I couldn't do anything but be carried to the bathroom, be carried to the bed. I said, there's got to be something else you can do. He goes, Janine, you should be happy. No one ever dies from MS. I said, really? What about my diet? Like, what if I change the way I eat? You know, maybe that will do something. And here it is. Here's the biggest lie. He said, Janine, nothing you eat will ever make your disease any better or worse. It is what it is. So you know what? Rest up, eat what you want, and just be thankful no one ever dies from MS. Are you freaking kidding me? Knowing what I know today, I can't believe anyone would say that. Now, I, I, I don't hold it against the doctors because... They don't know. They don't know any better. I don't think they're lying to people. They just don't know any better because they are being taught what they're being taught, right? Well, obviously, I'm walking proof, and so are so many other people, that changing what you eat does change your MS symptoms because MS is a direct result of the Epstein-Barr virus that's in your body, right? That's wreaking havoc. It's all over the place. It's lying, it's lying on your myelin, right? Your myelin is that rubber coating along your um, nerves. So the Epstein-Barr virus is being attacked by your immune system and it's attacking on the myelin. Now, where did I want to say this? Okay, so some people have lesions on their brain, right? And some people don't have any. Some people who have lesions have terrible symptoms, but then some people who don't have any lesions, or maybe one or two, also have terrible symptoms. Like there's no correlation between lesions and symptoms. That you can read all over the place. Now, why is that? The reason is because the Epstein-Barr virus is all over your body. Yes, it's in one of your major organs, probably like the kidneys or the liver, wherever heavy metals reside, they like that. Um, because that's where they can feed the heavy metals feed Epstein-Barr just like gluten dairy and eggs but what happens is your body attacks the Epstein-Barr virus that's on your myelin okay your um, immune system then attacks the Epstein-Barr virus as it's attacking it and killing it it's creating a scar on that myelin and that's what's measured on the MRI now, remember, Epstein-Barr, the virus is everywhere. It's in your brain, it's in your body, it's in your organs, and your body's always attacking it, okay? So that's why maybe it's in your brain on the myelin, maybe it's not. Maybe it's on your spine on the myelin, or maybe it's just living in your liver wreaking havoc there. So that's why it doesn't matter what the MRI says, you can't go by that. This leads me to the fourth biggest lie that I've ever been told. Medication will slow the progress. You have to get on the medication right away because it will slow the progress. Um, no, no, not at all. What happens is 
the medication targets the B cells. There's B cells and T cells in your immune system, okay? And, and think of that as like the special ops um, force of your immune system. So your immune system has all these different types of cells that are responsible for killing all different pathogens. So when they look at your antibody level in your blood, right, when they're diagnosing you and, and you're saying you have MS, your antibodies are through the roof. Your B cells are through the roof. Why? Because the B cells are what make the antibodies. So all of the um, MS medications, they target those B cells and they kill them, okay? They kill them. So your body can no longer attack any major virus or pathogen. Now, it doesn't kill all of your immune system cells. That's why when you have MS and you're on the medications, you can still get a cold and recover from it. it takes you a lot longer. You might be exhausted, fatigued for the next month, but you'll still recover from it. And that's because the medication only targets those T cells that are responsible for the antibodies. So the medication doesn't slow the progression of the disease. It slows your body from making the antibodies, right? So now your body has less antibodies to attack. The Epstein-Barr virus is still there. It's still growing in its numbers. That's why when you get off your medication, and I'm not giving anybody any advice on getting off of their medication. That's between you and your doctor. I'm not a doctor, I can't, I can't say that. But when you get off of your medication, some people that I know, I was just talking to somebody in the group um, yesterday, and they went off of their medication, and not that I recommended that they do that, and their symptoms went through the roof. And that is because your body is still producing the Epstein-Barr virus, but your body is not attacking the way it's supposed to, right? So now you get rid of that medication and the Epstein-Barr virus is like, oh my God, your body has like almost no defenses because it doesn't know what's happening. Like all this time it was being suppressed and now your immune system is allowed to is allowed to go on the attack, right? Because you stop the medication. So now your immune system is on the attack and it's like, oh my God, we have all this work to do all of these years and now we're finally at it. When your immune system attacks, you get exhausted. You're gonna get more symptoms than you did before because everything is fighting inside of each other like it never had a t chance to do before. And that's why it takes months to slowly get off the medication. I don't recommend anybody doing what I did. I did a cold turkey and it was awful. I had liquid pain going through my brain for months. I was exhausted. It was awful. Um, definitely work with your doctor. I'm not giving you any advice on, on medication because I can't. Um, but what I can do is give you advice on what to eat nutritionally to build your system back up. And that's where the Path to Healing program comes in. You are going to learn exactly how to kill the Epstein-Barr virus, how to get rid of all of your MS symptoms. And that is through starving the virus so that it's nice and weak, so that your immune system that we're building up and making really strong can go ahead and attack that weakened virus. And then we have to bring it out of your body. We have to detox it out. So you're always starving the virus, killing the virus, and detoxing it out of your body. And that's what you're doing, excuse me, every single day through the foods that you eat, and also the detoxing that you do, the heavy metal detox that gets all the heavy metals out of your brain. Because not only does the Epstein-Barr virus feed on the foods that you eat, the gluten, the dairy, and the eggs, but also on the heavy metals, okay? The heavy metals is a big food source. Also, another thing, and I haven't talked about this very often, but I feel like since I'm, I'm newly pregnant, I should talk about this, your hormones. I've been um, on IVF, and even though I'm pregnant now, I'm still on the IVF medication through my whole entire first uh, trimester. Epstein-Barr feeds on your hormones, loves it, especially the stress hormone. So that's why they say stress exacerbates your, um, your symptoms. It's because the Epstein-Barr virus feeds on hormones and the stress hormone, the cortisol, is its favorite. So we were not designed to be in a stressful state all the time like we are. We were designed to you know, get a shot of adrenaline, that cortisol comes out, it helps us run faster or you know, fight harder, and then it goes away. But there are some of us who are living in a constant state of stress. So when I talk about healing MS, I talk about healing on all levels, okay? You have to do the physical, the emotional, the mental. And, and the spiritual, so yeah, that one too. And that's why in the Path to Healing program, you're not only gonna learn the nutritional stuff because that's a huge part of it, yes, 
but you also have to learn how to heal on an emotional and a physical level. I mean, emotional and a mental level. And that's where Catherine Rose comes in. So it, it addresses all the areas of healing and it takes months. That's why it's a four month program because what happens is you are at point A right now, right? You, you are having symptoms and you wanna get better. You wanna be a point B. I'm healthy, I'm healed. I can get you from point A to point B, but I can't tell you how long that's going to take. But what I can tell you is after that four month program, you are going to see point B. It's like you're in the forest right now on point A and you don't even know where point B is, so you don't know what direction to go in. After that four months in that program, you will have a clear path you will know exactly where point B is and you will have the energy to get there because that's the biggest deal. If you're like, great, I can see point B, but I, I don't have the energy to get there. I don't have the energy to do this every day. That's where the program comes in. It gives you the energy to do that. So whether it takes four months, whether it takes a year or four years, which I don't think so, but you never know how long it's going to take, but I can guarantee that you will see point B and you will have the energy to get there. So that's the Path to Healing program. Um, Dawn says, so excited to start the program with you. Dawn, I'm so excited for you too. I'm so glad you signed up. And um, so we're going to start this on no November, listen to me. Um, July, Tuesday, July 27th. So um, I gotta launch that real soon in the rest of the group. I'll tell you guys all about it. But for now, for today, we were talking about the um, four biggest lies. Just to recap, your immune system is attacking yourself. Big fat lie. Your immune system is not attacking itself, it's attacking the Epstein-Barr virus. MS is, is genetic, another big fat lie. MS is not genetic. MS is the Epstein-Barr virus. You have a virus and you need to kill it. And there's over 60 different strains of this virus and medical science only can see it in your blood. It can't see it in its stage two where it kind of made a run for your blood and into an organ. That's why you can always see the antibodies but you can't see the active virus and so you never get diagnosed correctly. So MS is not genetic. It gets passed through the birth canal. That's how it gets passed down from, from family member to family member. Number four, uh, biggest, fattest lie. Nothing you eat will ever make your disease any better or worse. Yeah, that's horrible to be told that because a virus feeds on gluten, dairy, eggs, heavy metals, and hormones. So when we bring all of that back into balance and we starve the virus and we flood our immune system to attack the virus, then we kill it, and once it's dead, we have to detox it out. So we're starving, we're killing, we're detoxing it out. Number four, biggest, fattest lie that I've been told about MS is that medication will slow the progress. That is absolutely untrue. What medication is gonna do is slow the progress of your immune system by killing the T cells. So your body can no longer produce antibodies. So when they go and they measure your antibodies, they're like, oh yeah, look at that. Your MS is not progressing. And you go, really? Because I feel awful. How is this a good thing? That's because the Epstein-Barr virus is in your system. It's all over the place and it's getting a chance to grow because your immune system can't fight it. And that's why if you immediately go off your medication, you will get symptoms because your immune system goes on the attack and you're going to get exhausted. So I don't recommend that at all. Now, um, we only have two people on the live right now. So probably mostly I'm gonna be talking to the people on the replay. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments because I will still get them, okay? And I'll still be able to reply to them. And in the future, apparently, there is a um, option where you can join a Facebook Live. So I'm um, telling you now, when you're watching the replay for the next lives, if you have a question um, at any time, you can hit the button. I don't even know what it looks like. I have to play around with this, but if everyone's familiar with it, let me know. You ask, you request to join the Facebook Live, and then I accept and then you're there and you can ask me a question. So just know that that is an option on any one of my lives. I feel bad because I don't remember who it was, but a couple weeks ago, um, I saw a request. So-and-so is asking to join your live. And I'm like, what the hell does that mean? And I just, I ignored it. I didn't say anything because I was afraid to hit okay or join or whatever it said because I didn't know it was going to happen. But just so you know, I learned about it. And if you guys ever want to join me, just click the button to request and then you can ask your question. Because listen, if you guys have a question, most likely so many other people are gonna have that question too and they're gonna need that answer whether they're on the live or the replay so all right one more reminder about the minding your soul clearing group we're having it this Sunday so if you want to sign up 
um, today, I think Wednesday. She might do Thursday for you, but it'll be going to be the last day. She needs time to gather the information to kind of get everyone's energy in there. And then we do it on Sunday at 2 o'clock. So it's going to be the third Sunday this month, not the fourth Sunday. I should probably make a post about that for everyone. Okay, I think that's everything. And um, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me. Any questions? Post them here in the comments and um, I'll answer them. And I will see you next Wednesday. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.